stupid thing to do. How would you like to be mounted and stopped with a spear through your whatchamacallit? Well, I'd make a rather striking trophy, don't you think? You just didn't think, period. Come on, Franz. Stop being so precious. Is this what you call a day's work? They'll feed us. A couple of more make a pretty good catch. Here, give me the spear. I don't need any help, thank you. You need all the help you can get. Ernest, the go! Ernest! Ernest! How's this for a fish? Look out behind you! Sharks out there, but you had to jump in. Suppose I went in there after you. I knew you had more sense. And your word for anyone with common sense is precious. One of these days, Ernest, you're gonna jump into something without thinking and get the whole family in trouble. Hey, I forgot your spear. in the year of our Lord, 1801. This day began innocently enough, but before it was done, our little family was to experience a series of ordeals that would prove a valuable lesson in our continuing struggle for survival. You going hunting? No, 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 I'm going to fix the corral. The mules kicked a section of fencing apart. And something out there is setting him off. If it's that lion again, I want to be sure. Mm, no, dear. But I'm hungry. Well, eat something else. This is the last of the breadfruit. I'd like to keep it for lunch. Breadfruit? I was supposed to make the journey to the breadfruit grove today. Oh, Elizabeth, I'm sorry. It can't be helped. The safety of the animals comes first. Yes, so the fruit's ripe now. It'll be months before there's another crop. Is something the matter, Franz? No, nothing. Excuse me. Now something set him off. Well, what have we here? Tonight's dinner. More than enough. I thought Franz was doing the fishing. He was. I just gave him a helpful hand. You should have thrown back the little ones. They're no good for eating. Well, those are the ones Franz caught. Excuse me. Oh, I see. Uh, by any chance, did you and Franz have a set to? Wasn't anything. I think he was a little jealous of the fish I speared. I dare say. Uh, Franz. Now, look, boys. I don't know the details of your disagreement, and nor do I want to know them. That's something for you two to resolve. But resolve it you shall, if I'm to trust you to harvest a fresh supply of breadfruit. The breadfruit grow, Father? Yes, the fruit's ripe now, and I haven't time to go. But you and Ernest shall, that is, if there are no disagreements between you. Uh, we don't have any disagreements. Do we, Ernest? None that I know of. You see, Father? We're, uh, what's the word? Compatible? Uh, yeah, compatible. Well, see that you remain so. Well, get ready for the journey. Are you 
you sure, Johan? They're so young. Oh, with Ernest to look after France, there's no reason for concern. We have to face the inevitable, Elizabeth. The boys are growing up. Come on, Franz, keep up. I'm coming. That way. Point to Father's map, you go that way. We'll head through the swamp. It's much shorter and faster. Come on, let's go. Father would want us to follow his map, and I don't think he'd like us splitting up either. Splitting up is your idea, not mine. If you think it's too dangerous for you, then you go the other way. But going through that swamp is dangerous. All right, then follow the map. I'll meet you at the clearing near the grove. I'll have a camp set up and a fire going. I'll even pick the breadfruit. <laughs> taking the slow and safe path, arrived at the meeting place at the edge of the breadfruit grove. Ernest? Ernest? Excuse me. Thank you. Oops. Here. Ah, thank you, dear. I bet Ernest and Franz are down by the grove by now. Uh, yes, they've probably started picking breadfruit. And Ernest picking three to Franz's one. And letting him know it. Yes. Well, that's part of growing up, I suppose. Ernest! Johan, the contrary. I know, I heard it. Marie, run to the treehouse, will you, and, and pack me some food and the medical supplies. Hurry, dear, as quickly as you can. Wait, I'm going to have to leave this for you to look after now, dear. It's not nearly strong enough yet. I'll do what I can.
It was you who blew the conch? It's Ernest. He hasn't come yet. What do you mean, he hasn't come yet? Where is he? He's separated. Separated? Ernest wanted to take a shortcut to the swamp. I wanted to stick to the map route. We were supposed to meet here. We're going to have to find him before he gets dark, Franz. Marie, help me with this. Lift it. All right? Yep. Here we go. Uh. Good. Put it down here. Mama, look! disappeared back into the jungle, but he wouldn't be far away. <laughs> Meanwhile, Elizabeth and Marie had their hands full rounding up the frightened stock. Get through here. Maybe went around it. How? It goes on for miles. Bronze. Look. That's Ernest Pack. never have survived in there. Not with those creatures. This will hold it for a while anyway. What about the nanny goat? I'm going to look for her before that lion does. I'm coming too. No, you wait here for your father and brothers to return. Father, look! 
Thank God you're all right. What's the matter, Father? What's happened? We thought you'd been killed. We found your pack in the swamp. There are crocodiles everywhere. Oh, that. I slipped and they started coming at me. I threw my pack and machete. It distracted them so I could get away. Yes, and then? I was all covered in mud, so I decided to come here and clean off. It was so pleasant, I just went for a swim and fooled around for a while. Didn't you hear the conch? You know, I thought I did. The surf was so loud, I couldn't be sure. Why did you separate from Franz? He separated from me. I gave you a map. I expected you to follow it. Do you realize what your irresponsibility has led to? No, sir. You left Franz to fend for himself in the jungle. You forced me to leave your mother and Marie behind, alone. And then you put us through great anguish from the mistaken belief that you had been killed. If we hadn't stumbled upon you here, we'd have taken that same anguish back to your mother and sister. I didn't think. Where have I heard that before? Get your clothes on. We're heading back. March! escape impossible for Elizabeth. The beast stalked his defenseless prey. Yes, Father. What could have happened to them? seem to be here. shot the lion? No. She shot the leaf off a palm tree. <laughs> but the noise was enough to frighten the beast away. <laughs> and thank goodness you're all right. I've been worried sick ever since we heard that conch horn. I'm sorry, Mother. It was my fault. Everything. You know, Ernest, on this island, the family has the strength of a chain. And as you know, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. I promise you, 
I'll never let you down again. I think that's probably true, sir. Now, Marie, I think that's enough crying, don't you? But I almost got him. <laughs> We've plenty to last us a while, too. I hope so. I'm in no hurry to make another trip to that grove. I wish you would. Then Papa would have to save you. Then I could shoot another line. And I want a lion quilt for my bed. Listen, you're just darn lucky that lion didn't have a Marie quilt for his bed. <laughs> I thought this passage was here. It's just from an American fellow, Benjamin Franklin. A little neglect may breed mischief. For want of a nail, the shoe was lost. For want of a shoe, the horse was lost. For want of a horse, the rider was lost. For want of a rider, the battle was lost. That's me, the nail that wasn't there. Well, from now on, there'll be no more loose shoes around here. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fruit can you make with flour and water? What? I said, what kind of fruit can you make with flour and water? All right, I give up. What kind of fruit can you make from flour and water? Red fruit! <laughs> oh, red fruit. Oh. Don't you get it? Franz, how about a little spear fishing? He doesn't get it. Well, I'm not very good at it. Well, then it's time you learned how. Come on, I'll show you. All right? <laughs> <laughs> 